A woman in Lake County says her son had a, had a severe allergic reaction after getting his flu shot. In a Facebook post that's been shared more than 200 times, she says her children get flu shots every year, but this year her son started coughing and sneezing shortly after getting his shot. Then he developed hives and his lips and eyelids swell. News 5's Olivia Fecto has the story. The doctor we spoke with here at Metro Health says there are ingredients in the flu shot to help it absorb into your body. But for a select few people, those ingredients can cause problems. We're not giving a live virus. We're engineering something that looks exactly like the live virus, so it leads our body into developing the immunity to that particular virus. Metro Health's chair of family medicine, Dr. Christine Alexander, says in order for that flu shot to absorb into the body and work properly, other ingredients have to be added, from preservatives to make it shelf stable throughout flu season to antibiotics. There's also gelatin and ingredients that come from eggs. If you're concerned at all, getting the flu shot and being monitored in your physician or provider's clinician's office is really a good idea, just to see if there are any allergic reactions that develop that can then be treated right in the moment. More common than allergic reactions are complaints that people don't feel well after getting the shot. I hear this all the time as a physician, you know, I got the flu shot, it made me sick or it gave me the flu. She says the flu shot can't give you the flu, but it does rev your body up so your body makes antibodies in response. That process of making the antibodies feels very much like what happens when you're getting sick. And your symptoms may feel worse the first time you ever get the flu shot. Still, even if you feel sick afterward, doctors say it's critical to get vaccinated if you're able. Whether you believe that you yourself are at risk, you might go to church with someone who's at risk. You might shop in the grocery store with someone who's at risk. You might live with someone who's at risk. You might babysit a premature baby who's at risk. And it might just protect you too, even if the strains in this year's shot don't exactly match up with the flu virus you catch later in the season. You won't feel quite as sick. You may not need a hospitalization. You may not need IV fluids. You may not need an ER visit, right? You may not need an office visit. That doctor also says while the flu shot is the best protection against the flu, it's also important to stay healthy in other ways. Most important, washing your hands frequently. In Cleveland, Olivia Fecto, News 5.